All right. Uh, Daniel asked for me to go through 16 and 20 on day 10 homework. So here it goes. Uh, number 16 says that we have a circle here. We have a tangent and then we have a secant. The tangent length from here to here is the square root of 174. And then this portion of the secant is x, and this portion of the secant is 3x plus 5. So we know that these, um, these lengths are going to be equal to each other if we take the portion outside times the whole portion, right? So um, with, with tangents, it's just the portion outside times itself, right? So it's the square root of 174 times the square root of 174. That gives us 174. So 174 equals the portion outside the other one, the secant, x times the whole thing, which is x plus 3x plus 5, which is 4x plus 5, right? So, uh, dog's licking his leg right now. It's annoying. That. Okay. Um, now we have to distribute. We have x times 4x and x times 5, and that gives us 174 equals 4x squared plus 5x. Now, whenever we have this kind of setup where we have um, x squared, x, and then a number over here, I know that I can do the, uh, the not the Pythagorean theorem, I want blank. The, da, 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 what is that called? I forgot what it's called. Sorry. Um, the, mm, you know what I'm talking about. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 is C all over 2A. That, whatever that's called, I forgot. Sorry, it's early. Um, so I need to get, I need to make this thing equal zero. So I subtract 174 from both sides and I will get zero is equal to 4X squared plus 5X minus 174. Now this is my A, this is my B, and this is my C, and I'll plug it into X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over, oops, all over 2A, right? That's what we're plugging in. So I'm going to plug in X equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 4 times negative 174 all over 2 times 4. All right, so we always work out this inside portion first. So it will say the square root of 25 minus, well, is it minus? So let's see. Negative 4 times 4 is going to be negative 16. Negative 16 times negative 174, it's going to give me plus 2,784. Now I add that to 25, and I get the square root of 2,809. And we all know that the square root of 2,809 is 53. I'm just kidding. We don't all know that. So now we have x equals negative 5 plus and minus 53 over 2 times 4, which is 8. Well, I can automatically get rid of the negative 1 because I'm looking for distance, and I know that that's going to give me a negative number. So I'm only going to do negative 5 plus 53 over 8. Negative 5 plus 53 is going to give me 48 over 8, and that is going to give me 6. So x equals 6 will be my final answer. All right, number 20. Number 20 says uh, that if we have a circle here and it has this cool triangle going through it, and it's not a right triangle, or at least we can't assume it's a right triangle, and we definitely don't want to assume it's a right triangle, but we have uh, two secants and then two secants again. So this is actually, or sorry, a secant and a tangent again. 
um, this is actually two different problems. Okay, so I'll explain. The first problem is going to be the two secants. And then the second problem will be the tangent and the secant. Do you see that? So we're going to use this to solve R, and then we're going to use this to solve Q. Okay. Uh, let's solve R first. So we're going to ignore Q and 15 right here. And we're going to use... Let's see if I can block it and write it at the same time. So we're going to use the outside 2 times the total, which is 16 plus 2, which is 18. And we're going to set that equal to R times the total, which is R plus 18.5. We're going to distribute here and distribute here. We're going to get 36 is equal to R squared plus 18.5R. And we see that we need to set this up as, I really can't think of that again. Pop goes the weasel, huh? Um, <clears throat> let me look it up real quick, just so I can stop. Math equation, pop goes the weasel. That is a quadratic formula. I can't believe I couldn't remember that. Okay, so it's a quadratic formula. Uh, so we're going to subtract 36 on both sides. Oops, cover that up again. Subtract 36 on both sides, and I'm going to get R squared plus 18.5R minus 36. And then this is my A, which is a 1, my B, which is positive 18.5, and this is my C, negative 36. I'm going to move my hand here. So um, we get... R equals, because that's what we're looking for, R equals negative 18.5, negative B, plus or minus the square root 18.5 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 36. All over 2 times 1. So we're going to do this portion first which is 18.5 squared, and we all know that is 342.25. Minus, or is it plus? It's going to be plus. Uh, 4 times negative 4 times 1 times negative 36 gives me positive 144. I'm going to add those two together, and I'm going to get 486 point, excuse me, 0.25. So the square root of 486.25, the square root of that is 486.25 is 22.05. We're going to say r equals negative 18.5 plus, because if we do minus, it's going to be a negative, and I don't want that, plus 22.05 over 2. Well, that's going to give me, or approximately equal to, right? Um, negative 18.0, 18.5. Uh, plus 22.05. I could have done 22.1, I guess. Um, let's do 22.1. Negative 18.5 plus 22.1. It doesn't matter, really. It's going to give me 3.6 over 2, which is equal to 1.8. So R is approximately equal to 1.8. All right. Now, um, we're going to do the Q portion, which is that right there. So we have 15 times 15 is equal to Q times Q plus 16. So 15 squared, which of course is 225, equals 
q times q plus 16, so 225, make sure you can see the rest of them, I'm running out of room here, 225 is equal to q squared plus 16q, move that over, so minus 22, or 225 over there. Now I use the quadratic formula again, q equals negative 16 plus or minus the square root of 16 squared, which is 256. I'm skipping a few steps so I can use less room. Minus four times a, which is one, times negative 225. So negative four times negative 225. Negative four times negative 225 is equal to 900. So plus 900 uh, all over 2a, which is just 2. So 256 plus 900 is going to give me 1156. So this is really the square root of 1156. And we all know that the square root of 1156 is 34. So we get q is equal to negative 16 plus, because minus would be negative, uh, 34 over 2. Uh, negative 16 plus 34 is going to give me 18. Divided by 2 will give me 9. So q is equal to 9. All right? I hope that explains uh, 16 and 20. It's a lot of the quadratic formula. And it's understanding that these things can be split up into two portions. All right. Have a wonderful day and your lesson will be coming up very soon. And I will be posting the quiz uh, today as well. Let's do it the same way. That seemed to be the best situation. Actually, tell me if you like the online quiz, please. Uh, go ahead and tell me if you like the online quiz. Just give me a comment in the comment section of, uh, uh, of today's post. Did you like the regular quiz uh, where you did pencil and paper and took a picture of it? Or did you like the online quiz? Okay. Talk to y'all later.